some luck. Give me some sugars. So I hear that YouTube is moving on from intros. Content creators are moving away from- I'm so sorry. I still want to welcome you. Welcome. This is my little corner of the internet. How are you doing? So over the last couple years, this specific makeup trend has been called different things at different times. Dewy skin, dolphin skin, glass skin, clean girl aesthetic. Point is, I want my skin to look delicious. I still don't technically know if I'm going to get that effect. I tried this before with these same products, but I think the application wasn't exactly right. I want to try to rework my application and see if I can actually get the glass skin of my dreams or whatever you want to call it like youthful delicious juicy skin i want to start off with skin prep the only step that i'm going to show of my skincare phytosurgeons verdant force field i do think that it's important what kind of skincare regimen you have i leave that up to you follow your regular skincare routine but for a nice kind of like well moisturized surface i feel like you can't go wrong with this really great restorative moisturizer with green tea licorice root centella phas etc etc really great great stuff i follow a lot of girlies a lot of makeup girlies right and um none have made such an impression like nikki nasty he is um a content creator here on youtube i became obsessed with the glass skin look because she does it so well oh my goodness and i'll be honest man I, I still can't get it i have trouble figuring out glass skin for me and my skin texture and skin type so typically at this step i would probably apply some sunscreen but i think the sun has set already what i'm going to apply for more of a radiant boost is the in beauty face glaze of course i've been using this in almost every video recently and it's it's just wonderful i love the way that it makes my skin look it just gives it a beautiful lit from within kind of look i also have a few new products that i purchased recently so i am excited to show you those as well face glaze is on we're looking juicy but still in control you know so because my skin tends to lean toward oily i'm going to actually put on some of the hydro boost primer is this is it Hydro grip. I'm sorry, y'all. I try to be as accurate with remembering these names, but there's just so many. Anyway, I don't apply it all over my face. I basically try to concentrate it pretty much the T-zone. So really quick, I'm just going to do my eyebrows. The last few weeks, I've been using this from Make Beauty. It's their Sculpting Brow Tint. And again, I love the undertone for this. This is the cool brown shade. And it's just, it's perfect. Now that I've let my skin sort of marinate with the products that I apply, I'm going to go ahead and add my concealer. This is where I feel like my last attempt went a little south when it comes to concealer and i'm using the dior backstage concealer because this is the perfect consistency this is where i think i abused the concealer a little too much last time this is what happens right i'm starting to get a little bit of a tan and if you can see my nose is a lot darker than the rest of my face and um i try to hide that uneven tone with my concealer and i end up applying far too much especially on my nose and like listen i exfoliate physically chemically and there are days where it like really pays off and my makeup looks like absolute perfection and then there are other days in which my nose looks just like extra textured i don't want that what i have to just remember to do or rather not do is to apply too thick of a layer of 
anything on my nose because I really want to make sure that everything looks not just like seamless but also I want it to look like it's just my face. This is where I am with concealer. I basically just used it to cover my dark circles, maybe a little bit around the nose and right here. I am gonna go over my nose but it's literally with whatever is left on my brush, okay? So like I'm not dipping back into my concealer I'm not bringing any more product besides what is already on the brush. So now that I've done that, you see how... Okay, well you can't because of the lighting. You can't really see it. <laughs> but there's no texture on my nose if I apply only like a whisper of concealer. I cannot stress that enough. Otherwise, it starts to look too made up, too makeup-y. And um, I feel like glass skin is more about your actual skin texture, you know? Just looking dewy, but like in an intentional way, not in a I'm oily as hell <laughs> kind of way. So here's where we are with that. And there's still that glowiness from the face glaze and also from the Verdant Force Field. Next up, contour. I'm going to use my tried and true. Oh my gosh, look, I just hit pan. This is the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. So I love this because of how neutral it is. That's gonna add a little more dewiness. I did this the other day and um, I quite liked it. Before blush, before anything else, the all-nighter spray. I don't know if this would work with any other setting spray. This is the only setting spray that I have. It worked out for me. <laughs> okay, now for blush. You may be thinking, what you're going to add is likely going to be a cream blush, right? Wrong. <sighs> Hear me out. I know that there's this perception of like you can never add any powder over creams because it'll just gum up your skin. I kind of feel like the setting spray helps your powders blend into your face a lot better. We're gonna test my theory, okay? I did do this last time. It worked out great. So my sister-in-law, she's an angel from up above and she gave me a couple of blushes that she had in her collection that were a little too deep for her complexion. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Cheek to Cheek Swish and Glow Blusher in the shade Intense. And then she also gave me this blush by Chanel in Brune Rouge. What I like to do is just sort of swirl. Oof. I forgot what brush I used last time. It wasn't this one, but <clears throat> just gonna swirl a little bit. Tap off the excess. This could go very wrong. Are you ready? I'm not ready, but here we go. Ooh, I'm scared. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Not bad. Okay. Oh, this is this is just fine. Gonna grab just a little more. And I like to apply my blush up here just because it helps me look a little more snatched. And do you see how even though I'm adding powder? I'm not taking away any of that dewiness. How does that work? I don't know, but it's lovely and I'm here for it. I'm also going to use the other one and apply a little bit of that. Oh my goodness gracious, this is so lovely. Dude, you have to try the setting spray method prior to blush. This is just perfect. Just make sure that you're blending everything really well. A fluffy brush like this is going to do wonders. This is from Real Techniques, by the way. Dude, look at that. Ooh, girl. The girl did it. For eyeshadow, what I wanted to do was add a little bit of the Rare Beauty highlight. Kind of tap it on the lid. 
and I'm gonna blend it out to almost nothing so that it just looks like a sheen, like a sparkly sheen. I'm also gonna add some highlight to the inner corner, of course, and I'm gonna add the highlight onto my cheekbone. So listen, I know that some people don't like highlighter because they say that it enhances their skin texture. I haven't had any issues with this highlight. One of the things that I do think is uh, very, very important is for you to really just blend as much as possible and then you won't have that weird texture that comes with highlight. Oh my god, look at this. Whew. This has become my favorite powder highlight. It wakes your skin up. I'm gonna be here for a while. <laughs> I've rediscovered my love for highlight. I just can't stop. <laughs> I could cry. Okay, I'm back. So, have the mascara on. Applied a little bit of it, just... You know, just to kind of get the lashes looking a little more like I actually have lashes. Okay, so I have three new lip products and I'll be honest with you, I'm disappointed by one of these. So here we go. I'm gonna go right in with it. This is the About Face Scream of Consciousness shade in their Paint It Lip Color. Here it is with just one coat and I don't love it. So here's here's why. The formula I have been familiar with, I do have another shade. I believe it's the Nudis Judas shade. This formula is wonderful, except for it's a little aromatic. <laughs> it's a little perfumey. So if you don't like that, then maybe avoid these. They smell a little bit, but honestly, it goes away after a while. They're very pigmented. The formula itself is really light on the lips. I haven't experienced any like drying. It's honestly fine. It's the shade. I think I just don't like it for my complexion. I can't really feel comfortable wearing it knowing that it's this loud. So what I did do was add lip liner in the shade Wise and I added it to the sides to kind of give it you know, like contouring. Okay, and then look what it does to it. So much cuter, right? Okay, so next up is the NYX Lip Oil. This is a nice affordable option, but you are not going to get the same level of moisture as you would with the Fenty Lip Oil. I feel like they were definitely coming for In Beauty. The packaging looks quite similar. It's not exactly impressive. This is the shade Newsfeed. I love the scent. Love the fact that it has an actual tint. That's, I guess, like my one critique about the Fenty lip oil is the fact that it doesn't have enough tint to it to actually like do anything for the color of my lips, but this one does. I'm sure I'm gonna get really good use out of this regardless. You know, it's just a nice lip gloss. Look, I don't know if you need this or not. My friend, she's been telling me for the last few times that I've mentioned about Faze, she tells me to get one of these. This is their Cherry Pick Lip Color Butter. And Lisa, I am so sorry for not buying this sooner. <laughs> this is so good, look. Ooh, look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Lisa, you were right. My first thoughts were this is the ultimate lip balm. I don't know if this is necessarily considered a lip balm. Honestly, this is like very similar to that Tarte lip product that I showed a long time ago that I fell in love with, was so excited about. I put it in the washing machine and accidentally killed it. It also went in the dryer. R.I.P. little guy. But this, this is awesome. It's beautiful, first of all. Look at the shade. This shade is 
berry smash. It's incredible. The shade is amazing. I am so happy with the shade. I was trying to figure out what shade to pick, something that would kind of stand out in my collection. I do have the Magnetic Mauve shade in Make Beauty's Serum Balm Intense, and it is a plummy kind of shade, but it's not brightly pigmented as this one is. So the one from About Face is a lot more of like a statement lip, whereas you know, this one is like a more chilled out kind of version. The formulation of this is unreal. It's like to have a little bit of height when applying lip products. Do you know what I mean? Like stuff that comes in a bullet. This literally melted right away. It's almost like a, I don't know, like a solid lip gloss is what I can kind of compare it to, if that makes any sense. It's super soft. It's so, so glossy. It's so pretty. I would say this is like full intensity. It's not sticky, which is also something that like I truly appreciate. It's wonderful. I'm thank you so much for the recommendation, Lisa. You're awesome. Any hoosies, I'm actually going to stay with this lip. I think it conveys that glassy look even more. I'm loving the highlight. I'm loving the dewiness. I think it's really pretty. This I feel like I can wear frequently, for sure. It's an okay attempt at glass skin. It does convey some of that dew. Once a fall, I can't stop looking at the highlight. <laughs> so that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Let me know if you have tried the glass skin look and what are your favorite products to achieve it. If you'd like to hang out with me in the future, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye. Look at how ginormous my Ziggy has gotten. Do you guys remember when she was just a little thing? She was so cute. Well, she's still cute. But she's a much bigger girl now. Ooh. Wow.